as Chancellor of Texas Tech University System, it uh, gives me great pleasure uh, to present an award today to one of our outstanding students. Uh, I want to give a little background on the award first. And uh, this award will be the Robin J. Copeland Scholarship in Science and International Diplomacy. Um, Robin Copeland was uh, uh, a person that had a lot of roots in West Texas. Uh, her dad, Jack Copeland, uh, was from Dimmit. Her grandparents, Floyd and Nail Copeland, uh, lived in Dimmit all their lives. And uh, Robin was an unusual young lady. I went to SMU, and uh, she was uh, fluent in seven languages. Her dad and I from Dimmit, we were fluent in uh, one, and that was West Texan uh, <laughs> language. But uh, she was uh, uh, excellent and had a distinguished career in international diplomacy, uh, non-proliferation, and scientific engagement. And her work with the U.S. Department of Energy and the U.S. Department of State and various embassies and governments throughout the uh, world uh, was very good. Uh, I had chance to visit with her once on the phone, and she bragged about uh, Ron Cheshire and the people from Texas Tech. And she said they are the best, and they were working on projects in Iraq, and uh, that uh, she uh, thought highly of the people at Texas Tech. And I had the opportunity to visit with their leadership at Texas Tech in this area, and they thought the same of Robin Copeland. Um, you know, Texas Tech wants to recognize uh, academic qualities, uh, form the foundation for sound leadership in uh, subjects that are critical to maintaining today's order in a very complex world. And that uh, we are offering a scholarships to students who wish to pursue a career in science and uh, international political affairs. Uh, the Robin J. Copeland Scholarship uh, will be uh, awarded to Texas Tech undergraduate, graduate, or law students who uh, follow the uh, program of study, and the preference will be in this order. Number one, any student majoring in political science or international law with an auxiliary emphasis in supporting areas of science and engineering. Uh, number two would be students majoring in science or engineering with auxiliary emphasis in political science or international law. And the third one, student majoring in other combinations of study that demonstrates compelling evidence for application to science and international diplomacy. Uh, this scholarship, uh, in a short period of time, uh, raised over $260,000. Uh, her dad, Jack, was uh, responsible for most of that. And we'll be able to give a scholarship of $10,000 a year. And uh, that is something that we hope uh, we'll raise even more and that it will grow in the future. You know, they, uh, at this time, I, I want to uh, turn the program over to Ron Cheshire to uh, introduce our uh, recipient. Uh, but before, I, I would also say that uh, uh, Professor Brenda Rogers is here. And uh, she worked with Robin and Newer, and she is an associate professor in biological sciences and also in the Center for Environmental Radiation Studies. Uh, she has uh, done work in Chernobyl and in Iraq and served as a technical advisor to the International uh, Atomic Energy Agency out of Vienna. And that uh, we're pleased to have her. She had her education, by the way. Uh, with a, a Ph.D. in biology at Texas Tech, a uh, master's in biology at Lamar, and a uh, bachelor's degree at the University of Houston. Uh, with Ron Cheshire, we have an individual that has uh, led over 20 missions to Iraq since 2005. Uh, he is known uh, for his uh, uh, focus on scientific diplomacy, and uh, his work on non-proliferation uh, nuclear characterizations and dismantlement of nuclear weapons. Um, we are honored that he is on our faculty. Uh, I think that uh, you cannot have uh, better people than we have in this area. And it 
thrills me each time that someone brings to my attention some uh, a person on our faculty that's doing an outstanding job. And uh, Ron and Brenda have honored us in that regard. And so at this time, I, I want to turn the uh, program over to Ron Cheshire and let him uh, introduce our recipient. Thank you, Chancellor. It's really an honor to be here today for, for such a special occasion. First of all, I'd like to say a few things about Robin Copeland uh, in addition to what the Chancellor uh, provided. She was really a truly outstanding diplomat. Uh, she got very uh, involved in uh, programs dealing with energy and international uh, uh, energy exchanges and technical uh, cooperation bet uh, between uh, the former Soviet Union and then later into the Middle East. Uh, we got to know her when she was uh, guiding programs in uh, nuclear nonproliferation at Chernobyl and other uh, portions of the former Soviet Union. Uh, and then uh, later uh, we worked with her on, on issues in Iraq. And I can tell you that she was a really, a truly exceptional individual with a lot of energy. Uh, she really helped Texas Tech. She was a good friend to Texas Tech, and she was a good friend to all of us, and she'll be dearly missed. I first met Eric Howell when he joined Brenda Rogers' program at, uh, for a master's degree coming from Moscow, Idaho. And, you know, Eric has, 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 has a really good nature about him that, that when you, you talk to him, you know that there is confidence in, in, the, uh, in the activities that he's going to perform, and that really starts to engender you with the confidence that uh, you can give a lot of responsibility to him. But as Dr. Rogers has told me, uh, it wasn't always that way in the, early, <laughs> in the early days. Of course, all of us were uh, I, I, I know personal stories about uh, beginning uh, um, in my program where I had a lot of enthusiasm but a little bit of experience. So I, it, was clearly, uh, it was clear to us that really the best thing that you could give someone like Eric Howell would be experience. And, uh, and we felt like the, the, the education would certainly be taken care of. After his master's degree, we, uh, Texas Tech conducted a very special program in Ukraine called the Train and Engage Program, where Dr. Rogers, Dr. Carl Phillips, and I uh, sponsored a program where 28 Iraqis were brought from Iraq to learn to characterize nuclear material in a real radioactive environment. It was a very special program. It was a month-long program. And Eric uh, and uh, Dr. Rogers ran the laboratory training session uh, during that time. And this is the time that Eric really stood out to me in that uh, uh, he was a very good teacher, very patient teacher, but also just the knowledge of laboratory procedures and standard operating practices. And the most important thing was quality control. And it's, it's really unusual to find a young colleague that has a firm grip on quality control and how to convey that message to an international group that has had little experience in that area. So the trainees from that program went immediately back to Iraq and we worked with them on uh, on using the skills that they had learned to start the dismantlement program for nuclear facilities in Iraq. Eric again surprised us by saying, I want to go to Iraq. Now, this was a difficult decision because, as you know, Iraq is a, is a somewhat tumultuous place and uh, security is always an issue. But Eric was steadfast in his want his wish to, to become involved in these international programs and get more involved in the diplomatic uh, experience that he felt would guide his career. Over the last, uh, I think it is five or six years now, 
Eric has accompanied us on 10 different missions to Iraq. That's truly exceptional. He's been out in the, in the high desert with us using a tent as a laboratory uh, when there was not enough weeds to go around to feed a goat in, for the last 50 miles uh, in temperatures that, that surpassed at times 130 degrees. Uh, but Eric was always the person that we could turn to, that we could count on to be the one that was well organized, that had everything under control. And then Eric got a very special opportunity. He impressed the people at the U.S. Department of State and at the International Atomic Energy uh, Agency to such a degree that they offered him a one-year fellowship to work on uh, to guide Iraq's uh, technical uh, dismantlement program. And that's where he has been for the last year while continuing to be enrolled in Texas Tech and come back to finish his uh, degree under Dr. Rogers' uh, guidance. This has been a, a truly exceptional record for a graduate student and I challenge you to find anyone at his level in the United States that has a, a record that equals his. I've been a professor for 32 years and I, I will swear upon a Bible that Eric Howell is the very best student that I have encountered in my 32 years experience of being a professor. He's very deserving of this, of this award and he is a truly exceptional ambassador for the Robin J. Copeland Award at, offered through Texas Tech University. Thank you. Thank you. Brenda, I would like for you to join us over here and, and uh, uh, I, I, you know, it's nothing like calling on somebody and putting them on the spot, <laughs> but uh, uh, I would like uh, you to say anything you want to about uh, Robin Copeland's scholarship or Eric or anything that uh, that that you feel would be appropriate. Well, thank you, Chancellor. I appreciate that. And um, certainly, uh, Ron has, has covered things quite well. And I must say that Robin, Robin was a, a fine colleague and, as Ron has already said, a very impressive diplomat and also a dear friend. And so she is missed. Um, and so it's, it's quite an honor to have one of my graduate students as the first recipient of the, the award that bears her name. That means a lot to me. Um, as far as Eric goes, um, what can I say? I think his record speaks for itself. He's exceptional. He's been a leader in my lab since the day he arrived here. Um, He's going to be defending his dissertation soon. He's going to be sorely missed. Um, it's still tempting not to want to sign that page to keep him around. But, um, but truly, as, as Ron has laid out already, his accomplishments are incredible. Um, and he will continue to be a fine ambassador for, for Texas Tech, and I'm, I'm just quite proud of him. Well, Brenda, we're proud of you. We're proud of Ron. Uh, at this time, uh, Eric, I would like for you to stand uh, so I can present this to you. It's a recognition of, uh, of your outstanding scholarship and leadership and hard work. You're receiving the Robin J. Copeland Scholarship in Science and International Diplomacy. Congratulations. We're very proud of you. Thank you very much. Would you like to say a yeah, few please. words? Yes, please. Well, first of all, I'd just like to thank, uh, thank everyone for making this, this possible and, and uh, thank you for all the kind words and, and uh, really I, I don't have very much to say except for the fact that, um, well, I, I, had, I, I have met Robin a few times and I've worked with her on, on some, some projects in Iraq and uh, I've met her here in Lubbock and, and exchanged words with her. and. And uh, I can attest that she is a fine person and, and a great diplomat, and and so really it's an honor to to be awarded this award in memoriam of her. And uh, 
And I'd also like to say that none of my accomplishments uh, could have been possible without the opportunities, the great once-in-a-lifetime opportunities that have been extended to me by, by my, my peers and colleagues, especially my major advisor, Dr. Brenda Rogers. I, I, I could not have been involved in any of these things without her uh, putting her faith in me from the very start. And, uh, and then, of course, Dr. Dr. Chesser for, for being able to put, uh, put confidence in me that I could execute the, uh, the wishes of, of the mission of the, of the project of, under the U U.S. Department of State and, and for the, our Iraqi colleagues. And, uh, and so it's, it's been a pleasure uh, to work on these endeavor endeavors with, with Texas Tech University. And uh, I, I hope that my accomplishments both at Texas Tech and the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, can, can bring honor to not only Texas Tech University, but uh, to the name of Robin J. Copeland. Thank you. Thank you very much. In, in closing, uh, I would just like to say that uh, Robin J. Copeland uh, was a great diplomat and uh, had a tremendous background of science, and her legacy will live on through this scholarship. And uh, we hope that the recipients in the future are uh, just half as good as Eric. Uh, he's excellent, we're proud of him. We're proud of Brenda and Ron Cheshire for all that they have done in uh, providing people information about Texas Tech and being experts uh, throughout the world. Uh, this concludes our program, but uh, all the best to all that have given uh, to the Robin J. Copeland Scholarship. It means a lot and it's a step in the right direction and that her diplomacy uh, will not be in futile but will be successful someday. Thank you. <laughs>